Good morning everyone. So today we are going to discuss a very interesting topic that is how to process drone data in ArcGIS Pro. So see this is actually in his, uh, there is a various way to process the drone data but as of now I am trying to show you how to create um, basically how we will upload a drone data in a workspace and how we will going to process it for the auth mapping okay so that is the part which we will try to cover in this exercise so let's start okay so very first thing which you have to do that you have to go to the imagery okay under this new workspace okay so here you can open a new workspace okay so you are going to open a new workspace so once you click on that so you have to give some name here so that you can start this workspace so here the name which i am just going to pro provide it here that is basically the, like uh, the drone data analysis something i give your name drone okay so here you can give some descriptions whatever you want as of now i am giving the same thing so now in the sensor type okay so in the drop down menu so you just see here there is a various options will be like the drone is there satellite is there aerial digital data is there aerial scan map if you want okay so that also you can able to uh, change and you can able to do it over here okay so under the base map i am just going to choose as a topographic map okay so this is the fine for the workspace now you can just simply click on the next so now once you click on the next next thing is you have to collect the images okay the drone images whatever you have so that you have to add so in this image collection see here we have the sensor type okay so here we are going to open the generic tab so we are going to use this generic data sets only and uh, now the sensor types what what we are actually going to see we let's select as a generic as the imagery was collected with the rgb cameras okay so that's why i'm going to select it as a generic now the next is how we'll going to add the data over here so simply click on this add data and wherever you have your data imagery folder okay so try to select that folder not the images okay so let's see where i have my data so this is not in e drive this is in d drive okay so um, just a minute okay so we have all this data over here okay so this is the images i hope so simply click on okay so and you just see once i click on this so now the new data sets was going to add so this is the process this ortho mapping tutorial data so i'm just selecting the images and you just see automatically all my data which is going to show so if you click on I mean just uh, uh, take your arrow over there and you can able to see individual photographs of uh, which is taken by the drone here okay so if you see most of the modern drone store store actually gps informations with the uh, exif um, uh, the header files will be there okay so exif header file with the most of the drone data set you will find that only so this will be used for the automatically populate the table below so as you seen here so this is automatically populate so however for uh, some of this older uh, system the custom built uh, drones also the gps uh, might be uh, stored as a external files also some cases okay so in this case you can use this uh, down arrow button in the here okay and you to use the geolocations parameters to import the gps file so if you want to do that so then you can import the gps file like this okay so this is the in general part of how you are going to add okay so now 
you can see next i will go uh, for this as of now this is fine okay so you also see this is fine now special reference you can see so what are the special reference you want okay so that that you have to check it here make sure the special reference uh, and uh, here uh, you see that there is wgs 984 and uh, this vgs which is uh, selecting over here and the camera model okay so here for uh, this camera model if you see are actually correct according to that file whatever we are actually uploaded so default this projections box place which is actually defined based on this latitude longitude and altitude of your images actually okay for the projections we will determine this special reference for your ortho products including the ortho mosaic dem for these data sets we will actually use it as a default projections also okay so let's see let's go to the next and see uh, the next part okay so uh, we will see in the data loader okay so we have the data loader so we will accept all the settings as a default okay you need not to change anything here okay so you can simply click on this finish okay so let's click on the finish so it will take few minutes time to finish this so once it will done so then i will going to show you again okay so let's see the result so see once it will near to finish okay so now you see your drone uh, this file the ortho maps and everything which will run process over here and you can see the output here also okay so this is your drone maps or the data sets which is actually coming here so let's see the full results okay just wait for a few second now you see this message is came so this is successful now you see all these images if you click on this yellow one okay so you can see the individual images how it will overlapping one after another okay and how it is this actually capturing okay so that is also described over here okay so so now you see here so once this workspace is actually <coughs> been created okay so the images of the drone path and image footprint will be displayed here so an ortho mapping category so has also uh, been added to the content panel so the source imagery data divided uh, you know ortho mapping products will be stored actually here okay so the initial display the imagery of the workspace confirm that all images and necessary metadata were provided to the initial workspace that image have not been aligned or you can say adjust so the mosaic will not look correct so this is actually not mosaic is not perfectly done so that's why it's not coming so once we did it that so then definitely we will going to see that okay now the next we are going to do this after this uh, ortho mapping workspace which has been created the next steps which we will going to perform to block adjustment okay so usually we call it as a bundle block adjustment in photogrammetric terms so using this tool in the adjust and refine we will see in the group so this block adjustment will the first calculate this type points which is are uh, which are actually the common points in that particular area of the image of the overlaps so these type points will be used to calculate the orientations of the each images okay known as the exterior orientations in the terms of photogrammetry okay so let's see so now you see you have ortho mapping so under the ortho mapping you have this adjust tool okay just simply click on this adjust tool so once you click on adjust tool so this will come up okay so now you can check this uncheck this uh, quick adjust course resolutions only and you have to check on this perform camera um, calibrations we are aware you can uh, see this focal lane principal points all these things which will going to select okay so now you have to give this blunder point thresholds in a 5 and if you click on this type point matching so here you can see the image resolution is 8x with the source resolutions and obviously the image location accuracy will be the high okay so that is the uh, uh, process which you have to select it here then you can simply click on run and let's wait for the results how it is coming okay so after the results will come we'll going to show you
so it is still running let's wait for the results so now it is almost try going to finish so let's wait for a few minutes so now you can see once this bundle block adjustment is completed so now this is the kind of a residuals which is going to create and you have some corrections things also coming okay so that things which will going to do it over now okay so now what we are going to do it here you just see here this is the very fast things which will did like this bundle block adjustment so after block adjustment you can able to see your total image in mosaic but here still you have to increase the accuracy because whenever you having matching these two tiles na so there is some kind of uh, mismatch with with there okay so to increasing your uh, uh, you can say the capability we can use some ground uh, control point data sets okay so gcp points are actually uh, are uh, with known xyz ground controls uh, coordinates so which uh, often obtain from the ground survey and it is used to ensure that photogrammetric process has reference point on the ground okay for block adjustment can be applied without gcp and still ensure the relative accuracy okay so although this adding the gcp uh, does increase the absolute accuracy to the adjusted imagery okay so let's see how we'll going to use uh, the that so there is a various options so here we'll going to see in the ortho mapping okay so you see we have uh, under this refine tools okay so there we have manage gcps options so there is we have a uh, three options so as of now we will going to use gcp manage okay manage gcps okay so this is we are going to import so we are importing gcps basically okay so just click on this import uh, manage gcps so you can able to import all the points whatever you have it here so that you have to do import from this so if you click on this add gcp points so that you can able to import this points sorry it is not this one it is this one you have to select okay so now here you have to import your gcp files so from where you can take your gcp files so see here i have on gcp files in this tutorial files only so that i am going to import it here okay so that will be uh, my mostly over this only just a minute i will going to check in the exact folder okay so under this drone data okay so drone ortho mosaic so this is the gcp files okay so csv files which i need to upload it here okay so this is the very first file which you upload the next is you have to set a special reference of the gcps okay so that is important here okay so in this you can see the import uh, gcps whatever we we are already uh, did that now we will set the gcp special reference so here you can take this okay so now under this you can go to the geographic uh, coordinate systems okay so if you want so uh, now this is the xy coordinate systems which you see here okay so under this you have the geographic okay so under this you have definitely the world so expand it okay and under the world you have wgs 1984 so wgs 1984 datum so i am going to select that okay okay so now if you see okay that current uh, z options maybe it will going to show you so this is the uh, how we are actually going to see current uh, uh, yeah it is showing you that edgm okay 96 geoid so it will going to show you here okay so that is your current uh, z uh, that is uh, z which you have to select it here okay then simply click on okay so now once you did that now it will going to show you wgs 94 vcs edgm 96 gi okay so now uh, here you have the verticals also like verticals it is there so now here you can select like wgs 94 egm 1996 gi 1 okay 
so rest is latitude longitude it will be all will be fine so that is a sample uh, photo uh, locations which you have to give it here also okay so we will uh, click this folder uh, like uh, G, uh, gcp photo locations where you want to uh, set okay so that you have to give it here so here you have to select that same gps gcp folder locations whatever you are having your data sets there okay so that you need to select so now uh, you can click on ok so you see the gps uh, gcp manager will come up okay so let's wait and see the gcp manager so this is your gcp manager which you can able to see for the each these particular photographs which you have so see gcp is whatever we collected now in the field so that it will included here okay so now you can see you can select this uh, gcp 9s okay so gcp 9 it will going to select it over here okay now uh, you can click uh, the gcp uh, points which you can select it from here and you can give it accordingly before that if you want to increase the contrast you can use this dynamic uh, range adjustment so that contrast will be increased more on that particular image so what this ortho type points is actually this at type points is actually doing that the type point in the image viewer for the each image what it is actually doing so this type points for this ortho image will be automatically calculated by the image matching algorithms where possible although each the type point should be checked for the accuracy okay so the type points is not automatically identifying add this type points manually by selecting this appropriate locations of that particular image okay so like that you can able to do it now see uh, there is one more thing like if i see this one this gcp 11 so if you see the locations of this cheap gc11 okay does not provide the enough uh, context to the accurate place or type point or the uh, this issues uh, illustrated uh, one of the common uh, challenges that you might encounter with your match so why not you can uh, delete it okay so if i uh, select this one and you can go for the adjustment okay so still it is not that much illustrated properly so if you want to delete you can select it and you can uh, delete it also from here okay or sorry delete it from here also so delete the gcp so that particular gcp if you want you can uh, delete it from here okay so you just see here that is now deleted okay so after this gcp has been added okay so with the type point so okay so we can select this uh, uh, gcp 10 also okay so and you can see this uh, if you see this uh, right click and change this uh, uh, checkpoints okay so if you click on this change this checkpoints okay so this will provide the measure absolute accuracy of the adjustments as the point will not be used in the adjustment process okay so after adding this gcp and the checkpoints adjustment must be run again incorporate these points so click on this adjust again so you have to run that adjustment again just so uh, let's click on adjust and uh, rest will be the fine and then simply click on run again and let's wait for the result so now you see what i did i go in a ortho and this adjustment report if i click and you just see that adjustment report will going to create so this is the adjustment report you can able to see it here which you can able to find about this particular analysis okay so now the next now the next is you have to create the digital surface model from this so we have to go to this ortho mapping again and we can go to this product okay you just see all are now activated okay so the what product you want suppose dsm you want so simply click on the dsm okay and you just see here a dsm will select you can simply click on the next now in uh, you just see here uh, in this point uh, ground uh, cloud setting or you can you can change this matching also just let's 
okay so this matching method if you see here so matching method we can just go to the drop down and we can select these as the semi global semi global matching method okay and you need to see this will be this filter ground object should be check on okay and then the uh, you can say this maximum object size filter okay should be uh, 10 so which you use as a default value the this object is actually smaller than the threshold will be filtered as a ground otherwise the object will be treated above the ground feature such as the building bridge or the trees also so leave this point uh, ground spacing it is not required okay so this uh, this is defined the spacing in the meter actually so at uh, which this 3d points are actually generated so default uh, five times uh, uh, the resolutions of the source of the imagery so, so for this image collection points will be generated every 15 centimeter actually okay so now uh, you can go up to the next so here you can see now we are going to uh, get the, the next part now you just see the cell size we are uh, going to give use it as a default value 5 and gsd uh, which is also in a default okay so don't need to change anything okay so simply click on the finish and wait for the results so let's wait for the results so it will take quite time to finish this okay so once it will done we will going to show you the results so this is going to be finished okay so this is the final results of that particular output which we created okay so that is basically your digital surface model okay so it will take quite time almost 20 minutes time to process this okay and you can get these results as uh, whatever you see in it here okay so similarly the same process if you want you can generate the ortho mosaic also so for ortho mosaic again you have to go to this ortho mapping okay so under this product group you just see here you have options for ortho mosaic okay so the same way you can go to the next options okay and here you can go for this ortho rectification settings okay so if you see here so uh, the in this window under this elevation source or something see here we have the elevation source so select this uh, you can say the dem product okay so you are what we are actually going to use we are going to use this dem product okay so under this dem products we have this digital surface model okay so you just see dem product we have this digital surface model and now you can use next for the next step okay so if you go to the next steps you will see this window will come up so color balancing settings also there okay so you just see balance method is there okay so uh, so that is all options will be there so here you can accept all as a default whatever it is giving it here then you can go to the next so in the next so next you can uh, select it as all as a default setting and simply click on the next okay and this is also you can uh, go for the default and then simply click on the finish so that's all if you want to uh, wait for the results you can wait for the results. you will again you will take uh, some time okay so it is also almost all so it will take 20 minutes time to finish so once you finish you will get ortho mosaic of the full the drone data okay so the thing which will generate on is digital surface model if you see this is the result of the digital surface model which is open same place will going to see the ortho mosaic data also so uh, that's all from my side okay so if you uh, once this uh, will done then i will try to show you the results also. or else you can uh, try this in your software also thank you thank you very much so now uh, you can see this is the ortho mosaic image is actually ready okay so that is the process of how you can create 
are this type of ortho mosaic maps okay and you just see this is the both image which you will get it one is the ortho mosaic map another one is the dsm okay so that is uh, the this is the end of this uh, say lecture which will going to explain you in arcgis pro how nicely you can create the digital surface model and the ortho mosaic data product using the drone data sets okay so i hope you all enjoy this lecture so if you like this lecture so please uh, share with it to others and uh, subscribe my channel okay and uh, give your comments how you like this drone data processing in arcgis pro thank you thank you very much for all for this uh, video i hope it will be helpful for all thank you thank you all